What up, boys? It's your boy Domino's Pizza. Back at you with another video, uh, recording on my dollar store camera, aka the uh, Xbox Game Bar. Like, so randomly in the video whenever it feels like it. Because it's garbage and Microsoft is, uh, it's not the most cooperative website. Also, I'll just talk about some crap that's been going on because I really like speaking my mind on shit. Uh, heard about all of that, like, uh, the networks, like, censoring people. You know what, I just gotta say, yeah, I like that they're trying to stop them from censoring other groups. I will say, despite the fact that there are some, you know, crappy, messed up groups out there, uh, they still exist for their hands. You can't really be a free country if you censor people based on their beliefs, you know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense to me why uh, they wouldn't, but you know, there's like this law called like the T32 law or whatever, like stops and stops companies by getting getting butt fucked by someone calling the uh, mental health society a retard or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know. I honestly just believe that. Uh, if they are gonna do something, it better be more beneficial, and it better not completely buttfuck social media at the same time. You know, this is the U.S. government. We don't get that. We get one or the other. We either get the entirety of social media buttfucked, or we get, uh, what it, nothing happens. I don't see why our government has to take things so literal and irrelevant and take such irrational ways of dealing with proud problems. When you could just take the rational way and not start the problems. I don't know how this is so hard, but for our fucking government, it's so fucking hard for them to just understand. Instead of fucking having to ruin the entire internet, you can just simply change the law a little bit. It's not like it's a big deal. I don't know if you can really do that, but I'm assuming you can, because. Like, you can repeal amendments and stuff, so you can adjust the constitution so, like, can you adjust other things, you know what I mean? And, no, I don't know about that part. That point's a little irrelevant on my end. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's some, uh, borders. I have wondered why I only took Whites. That's because of that guy, poisonous flint beetles. That's how you wake up that bull war. How does the bull war even see me? Oh god, he doesn't like me. He's around, fucking flint beetle will be around here farting up a storm. Alright, we'll take purples. We'll deal with the flint beetles with, uh, purples. Beetles. Right, as you can tell, the fart beetles give off a lot of stuff for hitting them. It is very worth it to hit them. Of course, you gotta be really careful that they don't like fart on your victim. I don't actually know what their official name is, I just call them fart beetles. Yeah, thanks for the bitter spray too, by the way. That was very nice. Thank you very much for my bitter sprays. I'm gonna go dig this thing out from the ground now. Hey, come on, children. 
Oh god. <laughs> there was a bomb rock and nothing no one ever noticed. Even the purples weren't even affected by it, they just walked around it. It's like, oh, bomb rock. Yeah, that's there, I guess. I'm gonna go carry back this treasure. It's like a diamond. Looks like that diamond on Peach or whatever. Wait, no, I think that's a blue sapphire. Please. More big boy juice. Alright, that bull board went back. I'm just gonna go now. The mini ones are only like, what, two Pocos? The big one's like ten. Oh yeah, by the way, that's the Harry Bull board. That's the adult Harry Bull boards. Because, uh, you don't see those. And the surface. This is a little bit of an awkward intro because I forgot they even existed. This guy. Still so far, no Pikmin losses. I'm hoping to keep up that trend, because this is a very nice trend to keep up. Pew! Pew pew, motherfucker. Yeah, there's colored cannon beetles. Luigi. Turning the frogs gay. Right in my sight! Oh, someone betrayed, man. They turned the frogs gay right in front of me. I don't like I don't know why I like referencing that Alex Jones mean. Oh yeah, I also heard like Joe Rogan pissed off a bunch of uh, people because he had the fucking who was it, Alex Jones on his show? I don't know why that fucking matters so much. Like, Alex Jones is Alex Jones. I get that he's like this crazy conspiracy theorist, but like, still gotta give the guy some credit. He predicted Epstein. That was a joke, by the way, but yeah, for the record, he did actually kind of predict Epstein. He uh, said it on the podcast once. But, anyways, don't, don't ask how I know that. Please. I, I got it off of, like a turkey cop video, I think. Something like that. But, uh, anyways, back on the subject, but, like, they're trying to get mad at him because he brought a conspiracy theorist on the show. I don't know if you know. I don't know if people are, like, dumb or something, but, like, it's no reason to be mad at somebody. I don't see why you're mad at him. But then again, this is 2020. There's no- you can be mad at people for anything nowadays. Someone's got a nose a little bit too sharp, well, they're racist. Because, God forbid, anyone have a nose a little bit too crooked. You know, that kind of stuff. Alright. Oh 
Oh yeah, I forgot gold men are in this cave. As you can see, I didn't uh, get the gold men. Just too good for the gold men this time. Oh god, what was that? I saw like the shadow or something. I typically end up forgetting that there's a man down here. Sounds like... Is that just me or does it sound like there's a dog barking? Sounds like a weird yipping noise. Oh! Oh! That's what the weird yipping noise was. Uh, hey buddy, what's up? You stay on that side of your wall. I'll stay on my side. You understand? No, you obviously don't understand. Oh shit. Let's go! Oh shit. Oh god, oh god. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back, take it back. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it, 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 take it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Maximum spends. Maximum spends. Should be the Oh, oh yeah, we have a treasure, I guess. It's kind of a weird way to get a treasure, but uh... No, I killed the bull bear and I got it. I hold myself to a high standard now because I killed the bull bear without losing any paper in the process. for a bell. Danger chime. I don't know what happened, but you know, that should kind of be an upgrade if it chimes whenever there's danger around. The, uh... and actually, nah, because that might mean that it just starts making the uh, radar thing go nuts every time there's an enemy. Alright, more white Pikmin. We're only putting blues in here, because if I'm not mistaken, blues aren't really necessary in this cave. I mean, I, actually, no, I just realized blues aren't necessary in this cave. And I only have 15 of them. Ah, shit, well... Hopefully there's a candy blue candy pop bud. No, those are very prominent in Pikmin. Not letting the case of 16 purples happen again. Come back, we're gonna just start the next day. I mean, the next sub level. And. This candle makes the fleeting art form. Fleeting art forms. Oh, oh, uh. Don't do that. Actually, you know what? Do that. I wanna see if the whites make it faster. Yeah, it's a bit faster, I guess. 
Gymstar husband. Right, that is the worst name to name something. Who the hell? Who the hell names their stuff Gymstar husband? the reds. And there we go, we get to auto-pluck them with our auto-plucking machinery. I really love that upgrade. It allows you to farm purples even faster too. See if we can go even faster. Oh god. Bumbling snitch bugs. I gotta be careful not to get grabbed. God, oh no, oh no, oh no, let me go. Can say three fling me into the ground? That's a snitch bug. Another one of these snitch bugs. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's actually really fun. Really easy. This feels really easy, man. You can kill all of these beetles slow, one by one. Something like that, I don't know. Was there actually a place called Corpse Lamb in 1935? I'm gonna have to look that up later. Oh god, that was not a- oh god, I just realized- it was, That was in World War II reference. No, no, don't, don't, don't flag me. Don't flag me, you two. I didn't know. I didn't know I'm an innocent boy. I'm an innocent boy, just living in a world that's about to cla- in a society that's about to collapse upon itself. Like seriously, 2020 is gonna end up. That's the end result of 2020. I've seen the future. And that's the end result of 2020. Just society collapses around us. And the whole world just turns to anarchy. Twitter becomes the freaking, uh, the freaking, uh, anti Christ. <laughs> Twitter becomes a freaking anti Christ. Trying to convert everyone to, uh, liberal rights or whatever. And fucking Russia gets overran by fucking Putin, he gets a cloning machine and he just clones Putin. So Russian, Russia just becomes like fucking Putin build. Well, normal people get turned into Putin zombies. Yeah, there's a lot of case, and all the murder hornets are like fucking worshipped because no one wants them to fucking eat, kill the bees. So they give them, uh, sacrifices. That is the real future of, uh, what lies in 2020. It's just absolute chaos, man. 2021 is absolute chaos, and Flash has its own cult behind it, too. Everything's got a whole cult behind it. Luigi's Mansion's got a total cult behind it. Just trying to revive Nintendo to create a Luigi's Mansion 3 and Luigi's Mansion 4. Pikmin never gets its fourth game. No, you have yet to remember is a poorly made Wii U. There's a Wii U version that you can't even get off eBay anymore because eBay got shut down. <laughs> and eBay gets shut down. Kids, people start like trying to mail people children on it. It's like that Wayfair scandal, except it actually happens. Uh, for the record, that none of that actually happened in 2021. And I believe people like 10 years from now will click on this video wondering, wait, did that actually happen? <laughs> Hopefully it didn't. I mean, it could. There's, there's no definite way it couldn't, and there's no definite way it could. I mean, let's be honest, this is 2020. It came out of chaos and now it's already happened. No one expected it. I would expect a court to pop up sometime soon. Uh. Well.
Alright, hold up a moment. Innocence lost, I think it said. Lost innocence or innocence lost. Either way, those both have happened to me. <laughs> Anyways, as we dive deeper into the cave of darkness and beans, because beans are in caves. Ah, yes. The freezing. I don't think I've ever actually used the spicy spray. I think I might have used it once actually now that I think about it. Alright, those are actually new enemies. Those are Mamutas. Those guys will uh, stomp your Pikmin in the ground. The thing is, when they stomp them, they come up as flowers. So it's actually very useful. Despite the fact that they stomp your Pikmin, they are very useful. And of course, we're gonna take Omar over here. Well, we'll move. Yep, we're gonna convert some blues and some whites. There's nothing that specifically requires us to ever get reds, which is why I'm not getting reds specifically. That's why I'm sacrificing the reds. They're not really necessary. They're only really necessary for fire geysers. And even then, fire geysers are easy to avoid. Oh, Lord. Alright, some blue Pikmin. And some whites. I love how I call them everything different names, and then when it comes to white Pikmin, I just call them whites. This cave actually has something special for this. This is the only cave with two uh, special item. It actually is an upgrade item. Surprisingly, as weird as that is to say, there is two upgrade items here. So we're actually gonna have this dude stop the ground. stuff here. Everything's pretty much dead. Yeah, yeah. alright. Take that stuff back. Three Pocos for a Mamuta corpse. It's not that bad, but it could be better, I guess. They have a lot of purple, so if this has crabs in it, we'll be able to deal with it. Alright, it didn't, but still. I'm glad I was prepared. Alright, Brute Knuckles. 
this object gives you the rocket fist. It increases your fist attack damage and it makes lets you do a rocket fist punch. Very useful. But also kind of not useful at the same time. It's very useful. I like I like it a lot. I like to beat the shit out of enemies. Especially fiery bull blacks, man. Those things are so fun to beat the shit out of. You have no idea until you're actually like stuck in a room with them, and, and then you just end up developing this strategy to beat the shit out of it. It's a fucking art, dude. I swear though, if I get striked for too much cussing, I don't, I don't really give a shit. Of course. I don't understand why the fuck they would strike me for too much cussing. I've heard people spam the N word in the comments. I've seen people spam the N word in the comment section and don't even make those channels remove, like, stop people from spamming the N word, you know? Hey guys, maybe you guys need to make them stop spamming the N word or we're gonna take away all your revenue. You know? Just doing that, just tell them you're gonna take away their revenue if they don't do it. I think everyone would happily oblige. As you'll see, I like ya cut G. It's the clap noise. Let's see if we can get it. Yep, that, when he does that weird clap motion, that actually makes a clap noise, and I enjoy doing the I like ya cut G with that noise, with that. I don't know why, it's just so satisfying to do. I like you cut G as you smack a freaking fiery bulb wax to death. Oh, more bulb men. <laughs> Not like we have any need for them. I'm doing better off without them. Oh yeah, the treasures here, those aren't... Those don't really require us to have, uh, like 20 per 20 blues. I mean, yeah, we're gonna need a little. I mean, yeah, we're gonna need to take two trips to get them back and all. It isn't too difficult to do. There we go. I like you cut now, G. Hmm. I love how I can like his cut too much and then he just explodes on impact. He just implodes on himself because I liked his cut. I remember you, you little shit. Little sh that little shit right there. Right, I'm actually going to speed up time real quick. Alright, that's the first one back. So that's going to go back. Surprisingly, there aren't all every single chess piece in this game. And this one is the Worthless Statue. Get it? Because it's a white king. He he he. Yeah, I don't think that's actually the reason why they called it the Worthless Statue. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. 
No, that water dump bowl. <laughs> I thought he was going to kill them. I did. I did so badly, man. I thought he was just going to, like, litter rip. Just murder all my Pikmin. Anyways, speed up time again. Alright. And this is the Queen. The Priceless Statue. I wonder if that's, like, a simp at Nintendo. That, like, let, like, has a weird fetish for the Queen piece in chess. Alright, I can't remember what this cave is with this one. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it, though. Yee! Get wrecked, bro. Get stinky legged. Oh, that's what it is. Crushing hazards. Because we all just love to watch our Pikmin get crushed under the weight of a billion freaking metric tons. How does he not wake up to that? A lot really Oh crap! I saw that. And I did not- I knew- I thought it was gonna kill my purples, but somehow my purples were spared by the great Bulborb gods. Jeez, man, you're a deaf. Your own children are dying right behind you, and you're just, like, there. Just, like, chilling while your children fucking die. Alright. There's a little buried treasure right there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing bad in this cave or not, because, like, there's been, like, four sets of Boldman, something like that. And I have not needed any of the Boldman once. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm just too good for the Boldman or what. Alright. Just realized since there's a lack of walls around here, you could do this cave uh, without Pikmin. I mean, you can get to the bottom of it and get to a geyser. Get to like the very bottom geyser, I guess. I mean, you could kill the boss down here with your fist. I mean, it'd be really hard, but it is possible, I guess. All right, get the bell. All right, they're going to dig that out. Take it to the Shadow Realm, children. That goes in the thingy. And then we got a 12,306 shade Pocos. Double bull orbs. 
soon. All right, I'm actually gonna end this video here. It's like 40 minutes long. So uh, see you guys later, and uh, goodbye.